no, no, we got? None other than the C to the E-O, Cliff Jones. Let's yeah. give it up. Yeah. Great to have you aboard, brother. Welcome to Spotlight Over I'm the City. I'm glad to be here finally. Yes, man, finally. it's a great feeling, man. Yes. You're, you're family. We family in and of the show, uh, yeah. in, in and of itself. So yeah. it was yeah. a pleasure to get you on, man. So glad to be here. Man. What's happening Thank with you? Thank you so much. Tell them who Cliff Jones. Who is Cliff Jones? Man, Cliff Jones is a guy that grew up in Washington D.C. and I heard you say earlier, God just awarded me an opportunity, and I took advantage of it. Um, That's it. I've been, I uh, say, all facets um, from managing to writing, producing, um, uh, role managing, mm -hmm. um, just uh, developing artists. So give us a few artists. artists. Just give us a few artists that uh, you've worked with in the past, uh, just in case with, people are not familiar. Work, I discovered Raheem Devine. I discovered wow. Tank. Mm -hmm. Managed Genuine for years. Drew wow. Hill. Worked with Michael Jackson, Jay Z, Missy Elliott, Timberland. Gladys Knight, Hall and Oaks, Wow, uh, Donna Summers. I told y'all I'd be big. Um, uh, Aaliyah, um, Rick Ross, um, mm, Black Puffy. Magic. Who? Black Magic, man. Oh, yeah, I mean, Black hey, Magic, Everybody. Man. It's, I, I've, I've, I've been associated and worked with everybody under the sun. So, bless um, From That's gospel, bless Fred Hammond, Yolanda Adams, um, uh, Donald Lawrence, the Winans, BB and CC Winans. Wow, wow. Cliff. Um, Cliff, a lot of us didn't know Seven that. Seven Sons of Soul. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, Cliff. <laughs> so, that's DC for you, though. Yeah, DC. Mm -hmm. like, they say, yeah, Cliff, da da da. But a lot of people don't know about Cliff. Right. See, so this is the platform for people to say, oh, that's what he's about. Oh, that's what yeah, he got going yeah. on. And so this is a small inkling. So let's yeah. dig a little bit, a little, get a little deeper. Yeah. What else is going on with you besides the music industry? Because, uh, I've heard you've been associated with Miss Tracy Braxton for one. Yeah, I, I, oh, yeah, I've seen you on that. Yeah, I've seen you yeah. make some I've little appearances on that show. I've seen you do an acting day on that show. Two on there. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know you. years ago, years ago, we, you know, I, we did, um, we started getting into soundtracks. And I did Men in Black 1 and 2, Dr. Doolittle 1 and 2, uh, Barbershop 1 and 2, uh, The Best Man, The Wood. Um, we worked on, we did four Tyler Perry movies that we scored. And so... I started, you know, just being behind the scenes. I was like, I like this TV stuff. Yeah. So people were looking at me like, you crazy. You know, you, you know, you're making money, you're doing your thing, you secured your life with music. Nah, I was like, look, I want, I want that TV. So yeah. a friend of mine who was working with Basketball Wives, he said, look, come over here and work with us. I started working with Basketball Wives, doing some stuff with them. Then Tracy noticed me, and we, you know, I've always knew the Braxtons and their family. So I saw Trace, and she was like, hey, look, I want you to work with me. I want you to manage me. And I was like, really? So I said, okay. So we sat down, we talked, and next thing you know, man, seven years later, we're the number one black uh, reality TV show on WeTV right now. So I know, that's that. right. Give it up one time yeah. for that. Let's just some energy for that. Helping our city get to the next level. And I can truly say that every artist that I've signed directly to a record company We've changed their lives. Like they, they become, they become millionaires. Yeah. Like Raheem, I found Raheem in a fetal position at this producer's house, and he was just on the floor writing. And I said, "Man, you want, you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to deal?" And he was like, "Sure." Wow. And, and, and once he, at one time, he was like, "I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe." I was like, "Okay." We walked out of the building with a million dollars. Wow. What? Tank, I saw Tank at a church. Walked up to him and said, "Look, man." You got a lot of talent, but I think we can develop you to get to the next level. And he was like, what that mean? I said, wow. follow me and just listen. Changed his life. I mean, we didn't do it. Sure. Now he's doing movies. Mm -hmm. And now he's embarking upon TV. So. Hey, Tank. Shout out Tank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Please sure. shout out Tank. Hey, shout Tank. Out Tank. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's always yeah. been big here. And they but still now my kids. Everywhere. They yeah. still my kids. I still love them. I still get the phone calls at 4.30 in the morning when something goes wrong. They still like you know they don't make moves without me you know yeah. and, I, and I love that about them you know um, yeah. you know when he decided that he really wanted to get into the whole acting piece all his friends like Jamie Fox and all them were doing it he was scared I said what you scared of you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. you from D.C. You ain't scared right. of nothing. There you go. That's right. So keep it moving. And, and you know, the whole new edition piece came and then other stuff, other projects coming. And matter of fact, he's reading for a new role for a movie this week. So yes. yeah, we're hoping that he gets that. 
Shout out to the DMV. So shout out to Tank and everybody from the DMV yes. doing major things, man. We have major talent here. Yes, we do. And so, yes, we do. Yeah, we do. We are really yes, blessed to have you. You, you are a major talent. Well, thank you. Tank. You are no, like that. Like, I'm going to tell you, I got to tell this story. Stan called me one day and he said, man, listen, I'm a writer, I'm a writer, I'm a writer. And I was like, yo, man, I, I don't know who you are. <laughs> But I love your energy. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I'm like, and I mean, how, how long has it been? That was a couple of years ago or something. And yeah, he was like, yeah. yo, I want to write, I want to do that. I said, man, listen, I love your energy. You ain't got to write for me. You can just hang with me. Yeah. <laughs> because of your energy. And I love his, like, you're a true gentleman. Thank true you, gentleman, man. man. And whatever I can do, you know this, to help you, I'm all for it. I'm, re I'm ready to get on the boat. I yes, appreciate that. Yes. So yeah, when I call I call Cliff, I say, man, look, you don't know me, but my man is such and such, and he gave me your number. And he said, I need to call Cliff. I say, man, you need to do something with me, bro, because I can write and yeah. I'm trying to get on and TV. And he really can, like, you know, like I met I mean, everybody really pretty much knows our story. I met Stan on Facebook. People don't believe that, but it's true. I really met my my dream man oh. on Facebook. I That's really right. did. That's right. That's <laughs> right. You know? And yeah. um, and fast forward, we got married and all of that. And um, he started showing me some of his stuff that he wrote. And I was like, you wrote this? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I... He's just really brilliant, y'all. Like, I love it. Oh, he really is. I love it. I'm going to give you something, baby. You ain't got to do it. <laughs> I, got it. I told you I got you. You ain't got to do all that extra shit. I got you, man. I love it. So, I yeah, but, it. but on, an, on a serious note, man, um, I want you to tell the people a little bit more about, like, um, you you had a gospel background. Yeah. You had a yeah. group, actually, that yeah. made a lot of noise. Let's yeah. talk about that. I, I grew up in the church, and actually what happened was... Um, in the church world, you know, you always, you know, people always want to find that other way out. But I was like, you know what? <clears throat> God has done so much for me. You know, I never, I never turn my back against God. Like right. I always, you know, worship and always love to, you know, uh, have relationships within the church. Right. Um, when I was a kid, my uncle took me uh, under his wing and said, "Look, boy, you are gonna sing regardless." And I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, so. Right. Next thing you know, I started singing in church. I did Broadway as a kid. Um, uh, I did to play Faith, Mama Don't, Your Arms Too Short to Box with God. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. I, that. Yeah, I was yeah, I was an original Wiz wow. kid. I was a munchkin, but don't tell nobody that, please. <laughs> Cliff was, Cliff a, was munchkin, a munchkin, y'all. I was a munchkin <laughs> as a kid. That was, I was a munchkin in the, on Broadway. So but that's it was, a move, though. That's yeah, a, it was, that's it a, was a move. And like I didn't understand it, but a lot of people were telling me, hey, look, bruh. You you you've done some big things. So after that, um, my career started. I started to learn the entertainment game, the entertainment, how to develop being in entertainment, right? Um, so I, I I still was singing a little bit. The next thing you know, there was this song um, of Buddy. I was working for Boys to Men. I forgot about that. I was working for Boys to Men. Hey, Wong Yay. Hey, Wong Yay. Right, right. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> they, um, they, a buddy of mine called me. He said, man, I want you to sing on this record. And I was like, man, I'm done. I'm, I'm, you know, I want to I be behind the scenes. He was like, no. So after that, he said, come sing the record. So we sung the record. I'm on tour with Boys to Men. We did the record. He finished the album. He wasn't signing, have a deal or nothing. He said, man, can, now I need you to help me, you know, push it out there. So we would go to you know, different radio stations while we were on promotional tours. And when Boys the Men would get on the bus, I'd tell the, the promoter, hey, look, play number nine. That's me. <laughs> right. we, just, we just did a gospel album. Right. So they was like, Boys the Men? I said, yeah. Man, they started playing Be Encouraged, a song called oh. Be Encouraged. And it blew up. It was it was number one on the gospel charts yes, for like it was. 60 weeks. Yes, sir. I it remember. Was, it was number one on the R&B charts. For like 58 weeks, so wow. it was amazing. And right now, to this day, it's still a big record yeah. to this day. And then after that, we came with a group called Seven Sons, and that was just some fun stuff that we did. Right. We were doing we were doing some fun stuff, and next thing you know, we were like, okay, let's just get together and make some records. And boom, it blew up. So you know, it's a group of guys. It's like a boy band, and we just you know we do from quartet to inspirational gospel, traditional gospel. And we just love we love performing and doing doing what we do. So yeah, you know. right. And I heard I heard your statement, and you're absolutely right. What's that? You know, you, you were saying I'm I'm me. Don't judge me. Like like at the end of the day, you know, hey, 
It's all right to you know yeah. to partake. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's all right to partake. That's right. And and my thing is this, you know what I'm saying? God has the last say so over your life. That's so, it. you know, um the Bible talks about judging people and all that stuff. You know, it's not cool to judge, but at the end of the day, you know, it's cool to talk about people though. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, Listen, but the words but, spoken by Cliff Jones does not have I'm, anything I'm to do kidding. with. I'm just kidding. So, but so, no, yeah. it's it's you know gospel. You know I had a great career in gospel as well. Um, I worked with Fred Hammond closely, uh, Marvin Sapp. Donald Lawrence, mm. um, Yolanda all Adams, all the hitters, um, yes. all of them, man. I mean, the when hitters. I tell you, I promoted shows, gospel shows. Uh, I'm not, I'm not tricky entertainment, but I'm a small version of tricky, of tricky entertainment <laughs> when it comes well, to promoting. Listen, let me, let me just, let me, let, man. let me just tell you, I love, and I'm, I'm, and I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna do my little plug, but I love tricky entertainment because they represent our city and. They promote, like, I go to all these other cities. I'm talking about from Miami to Atlanta to L.A. to Chicago, and I don't go to events like Tricky Entertainment. So if That's you exactly ever... Right. They don't if, exist. They don't exist. They really Trust don't. Me. These guys Trust are professional. Me. They professional. And they are really, it's going to be grown. It's going to be yes. sexy. Like yes. I said, no pistols yes. involved. You can None of good. that. Security's good. None of that. I don't even know if I see a lot of security. It None ain't of necessary. That. It's None of that. good... Good, good energy. Good energy. Great atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, great ways. atmosphere. And yeah. I and I love and I mean I've been knowing my brothers for almost over forty years. So wow. it's it's good to know that that yeah. people in our city take care of our city. That's yeah. right. So, and those are those people, including yeah. yourself. So Thank give you. it up for all of you guys, including That's right. Ain't yes, my sir. man Cliff yes, Jones. Give it up Thank one you. time. Cliff, what's so, your okay. favorite gospel artist? Wow. If you just had to say one. Yeah, you can only keep one and everybody else gets one. I'm going to get mine too. Just only one. If I you got to give, yeah, I'm going to get mine too. If I had to say one, my favorite gospel artist, my favorite gospel artist is the Winans, the brothers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes. I mean Marvin. Mm. Marvin, Ronald, yes. Carvin, Mike. Yes. And, I, and, and check this out. That was my first job. Oh. Yeah. They gave me my first job. Um, on the road with them as a, I was I was in charge of wardrobe, and from there I went to work for BET, and from there I went to work for Bobby Jones, and from there I went to work for Columbia Records, and wow. then after that I was an entrepreneur for the for your the resume time. is extensive. Yeah, That's why is. they say you never despise humble beginnings. Yeah, That's See, right. you wasn't too big to be a wardrobe person, man. But it didn't stay there. Yeah, no, nah, it didn't. And, so what and if I, you and I took that position. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't have been where I am today. That's right. That's the point. That's I was influenced by a lot of people, but those brothers gave me a chance. And I and let me tell you this: by me being the wardrobe guy, they they allowed me to be in a play which they that which they produced called "Don't Get God Started," and they allowed me also to sing on their first live album. I was I did a song on their first live album. And it was just, it's just amazing, man. I don't have any complaints. Wow. And my job now is to help those that want to be helped. Right. That's what's up, Cliff. He said right here on Spotlight, he great put my shows on We TV. <laughs> Give it up to Cliff Jones and put these shows on We TV. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, hey, hey, but so look, uh, stand playing. But I'm telling you, though, like the door, when I tell you that the door is open, like honestly, like We TV, and I, and I got to give big shouts out to the Braxtons. And yeah. Tracy Braxton hey, because and that sexy Tony. They, yeah. That, yeah, Tony what? is sexy. What? I meant all of them, but yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> sexy. She, but she, Tony, yeah, <laughs> Tony too though. Yes, Tony. <laughs> Woo, I seen Tony in the at the nail shop one day. I bumped right into her, almost knocked her down. I was like, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Sorry. You know Tony. what? Woo. You know I, what? I almost sung to her, man. You know what? I bought you on the couch. No. That, that stuff I had in my mind. No, that was a long like time tonight. ago. That was a long. That you was in Atlanta. Couch. That was in Atlanta. I was in Atlanta. Oh, okay. I ain't know you. Yeah, I ain't know you. I ain't even know nothing about you, Terry. Yeah. I, I, so, uh, <laughs> hey, listen. I, I'm a, I must. I, I gotta give them shouts out, man, because they, they, they are, they are a good group of people to work with. Um, Tracy, I love to have Tracy has become like a sister to me. And um, um, when I say she loves hard, she loves hard. It's a good show. Um, and Tommy, it's a great you, show. It's a great show. It's, it's a, a great, great show. show. I love it. We 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 going into season seven, and I must 
when I looked at the lineup season seven. for season seven, I just I lost my mind. I was like, wait a minute, what is this? So I called production and we were on the phone for like three hours. I mean, when I tell you, it's 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 amazing. And I would love for you to come stand to actually see you and wifey yeah. to actually see the behind the scenes. I'm glad you said that because I'm like Velcro. So oh, no, no, <laughs> like no, if no, he you, going, you I'm de- going. You definitely gotta Just come. Go <laughs> you definitely gotta come. So we're gonna talk after the show about that clip. Yeah, you yeah. can't tell say everything out loud in front of her. Like it's okay. Still, I, and then let me filter through what you know. Okay. Like okay, okay, I'm, okay. I'm let me be the front line. Okay. All that. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So but anyway, we love you, bro. We gotta we gotta they give us the rap. We gotta get tricky and come in. So we gotta get out of here because we got some more guests coming up and we would love to sit and chat, but we gotta get you back. Absolutely. See, that's what it is. We got it was so hard to get them this time. We got yeah, to book Cliff two years in advance. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call Black. That's what I got to do. I got to call Pentagraph. So up call next. Call Pete. Pete can get me. Trust <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to if do. If he call, I'm picking up. And, and, and shout out to Tink, too. That's another person I might get to get yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I call one guy. of them. But anyway, shout out shout out to everybody at the sound of my voice for staying tuned to us. We yes. love you guys for rocking with Spotlight. Make sure you yeah. follow us on uh, YouTube and, uh, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, make sure you go get you some whiskey right. That's because right. Because I whiskey am the right. brand ambassador. I'm also a partner. And make sure you understand that we do whiskey right. I promise you, when you taste the whiskey, it's the smoothest whiskey, whiskey that you have ever ever tasted without even blending it's just smooth so nice. Nice. 46 stores right here locally in the dmv make nice. sure you look for us lax liquors and a whole bunch of others that's so right black check on us out. too y'all black Support. on black distill make sure that's you right. stay locked with us whiskey right up next tricky ink yeah. in the Ooh, building thank you so much Cliff. thank you, thank so you Cliff, for being a part thank of the sure platform you all watch season, season seven of, of the Braxton family values yes, Cliff, when do the when, when does season seven start on WeTV? um actually it starts i believe May. May. Okay, May. so just yeah. make sure you be stay yeah. tuned. Yeah. Make sure May. you look at your list. We, we TV. Yeah. Yes, Braxton Family Value. We'll be yes. right back. Spotlight okay. over the city.